Hello YouTubers, um, welcome to my new channel, it's basically uh, kind of repair gadgets, electronics sort of blog, um, it shows you how to repair phones, uh, stereos, TVs, all the gadgets that you have to pay a fortune to get repaired, and it shows you how to do them at home with the minimum expense. Um, I'm also going to be reviewing stuff and attempting new stuff that I've never done before and videoing it all. This one's just a short one just to show you my home bench and electronics lab that I've just set up and some of the things you'll need. Um, right, first of all we've got a cheap Chinese hot air rework station. Uh, it's got a test meter built in, power supply built in, soldering iron which works really well, heats up in seconds. Um, higher gun, a really handy bit of kit, doesn't cost a fortune and I'll be doing a review on that in a separate video. Some of the other things you're going to need, a second soldering iron, handy for when you're doing SMD removal and stuff like that. This one's a, a Weller, I've had for years and years and years, it's a very good iron. A solder sucker removing components through hole. Mm. Plenty of solder wick which is marvellous for removing components and unwanted solder. Mm. Different types of solder, fine solder, low mounting point solder, lead free solder, again lead free solder, leaded solder, more leaded solder, a flux pen fiberglass tip, very handy, can never have too much flux, Vaseline for lubricating moving parts and stuff, laser digital temperature sensor, very good, not too expensive, can help you find faulty components and other problems and if you're doing you know work with heat and you want to get the right temperatures, that's what you need. A little helping hands for holding stuff and magnifying when you're soldering. Although, this is a good tip if you're doing small stuff. A big lump of blue tack sits there hard on your desk and holds the thing very well. Really good. Uh, what else? Good set of tools, plenty of tools, all sorts, security bits. More security bits, crimper, portable gas, soldering iron if you're going out on the field and doing repairs, various other handy tools, uh, watch repair magnifier, works but not brilliant. Other stuff, a box of bits screws and cogs and springs and all sorts of screws you're going to need a lot of these so whenever you scrap anything take the screws out of them well handy uh, components common use components and here I've got thermal grease more thermal grease Chip and IC pullers, different nozzles for the higher rework station, solder paste, which is very handy. Anti static wrist straps for when you're doing static sensitive stuff. Um, thermocouplers for your multimeters. So you can monitor temperatures if you're doing hot air work and stuff. And Crystals and batteries. USB ports. 
some micro and mini USB ports. You'll be going through a lot of these. Uh, laptop charge ports, you'll go through a lot of them as well. Various types of mini USBs and micro USBs. And this one's for the Samsung Galaxy S3 phones, I do quite a bit of them. So keep them in stock if you can. Mm. Various fuses, uh, spare processors, laptop processors, connector blocks, crimp connectors, different sorts, binding posts, crocodile clips. Handy if you have to make up leads and various other things. Capacitors, electrolytic capacitors, capacitors, which are a common fault for a lot of stuff. Is capacitors going? So you'll need a lot of them. More capacitors, more capacitors, ceramic, SMD components and ICs. LEDs, diodes, transistors, resistors, uh, lots of resistors everywhere. I find with it, resistors you don't really need the better made ones. The Chinese mass produced ones work just as well. They don't tend to go, but capacitors you really need to spend a tiny little bit more and get the more expensive ones like uh, Nippon Camicon, Panasonic, really good. Um, what else have we got? Multimeters. You don't need to spend a fortune um, as much as other bloggers tell you. I've had this little Draper one which was cheap for years and it's extremely accurate and robust. Um, not auto ranging. This one's a cheap Chinese one off eBay which I use occasionally you mainly use it as a temperature reading one but it works well no no gripes about that this one I forked out a little bit more on it does capacitance um, everything else uh, and actually it's a really good meter um, yeah so you don't need to spend a fortune it's nice if you can afford a fluke or um, something like that but you know if it works, it works. If it does the trick. Uh, rechargeable Lion screwdriver. It can save you a hell of a lot of time taking things apart. Handy. Various fluids um, and chemicals that you need. Air dusters. Really handy. Um, that's just a little spray bottle of isopropyl alcohol which you need for cleaning like, uh, PCBs and stuff like that mm. Worth every penny of buying that and save you a lot of heartache More air, dust, air duster, cotton buds or q-tips Anti-static brush for cleaning Liquid flux, you'll need some of that Liquid flux dispenser uh, liquid, uh, paste flux comes in handy um, this this is a plumber's one but it's not acidic it's, so you can use it for electronics as well but watch what you buy if you buy plumber's flux because some of it is acidic and you will do damage uh, pump dispenser for the alcohol so you use the minimum that you need just press down on that and that fills up handy bit of kit Acetone for cleaning PCBs, um, stubborn glues, and stuff like that. Uh, it's really handy. Um, burnt PCBs, this, you know, this strips them back and makes them look good again. Three in one oil, which is, you know, lubricating, moving gears, computer fans, laptop fans, um, when they start getting rattly and that. If you can get through to the bearing a drop of this and then stick her over the top and give it years of life and quiet it down printer cleaning fluid for print heads and when people bring printers with problems uh, what else we've got different tapes insulating tapes a 
lots of insulating tape. Uh, surgical tape, very handy if you're putting um, screws in something in the back of something and then you have to turn it over and then the screws go mount into the base of whatever you're putting on there. You can put the screws on, take the screws on, and then when you've got your thing in place, put your screwdriver onto the tape and do the screws up because the tape just breaks. Very handy, saves you a lot of time. Capped on uh, heat resistive tape. Good for when you're doing hot air to mask off other components and protect them. Aluminium heat shield tape, again, for shielding off other components when you're working with a lot of heat. Epoxy resin, you'll need quite a bit of that. Gloves, you get dirty hands in this job a lot, and they all come in handy. There's a couple of ongoing jobs there that I've got. There's a Samsung S3 Mini, which I'm waiting for a port for, and a Samsung Galaxy Tab 3, which I'm waiting for a charge port to come through for. Um, what else have we got? Laptop and computer access will come in handy. Uh, tools. A glue gun. You will need one of these. Glue gun, hot, air, uh, hot glue, plenty of glue sticks. Another screwdriver. Mm. Uh, it's just various spare bits for computers and stuff in there. Scrap PCBs. Can never have enough scrap PCBs. Handy for looking on if you're missing a component uh, on something else and you haven't got one in your stock box or your component tray. Um, nine times out of ten you will find one on there. Some really, get some really good stuff, relays. Uh, expensive stuff on some of them which would cost you a fortune to order so you always save your scrap PCBs mm. phone stuff mm. doing lots of phones I do so many phones it's unbelievable uh, spare screens new screens broken phones that are beyond repair really beyond economical repair lots of them um, all the special stuff you need to do them. Yeah. Double sided tape and UV activated glues, all the tools, sponges, stuff like that. Necessary. If you're going to get into gadget repair, you're going to be doing a lot of times. Double sided tape. Mm -hmm. Plenty of phone spares. Mm. Right. Power supplies and cables. Plenty of them always come in handy. All different types of power supplies. Linear and switching in places. Screen for a project. Experimental DVD writer. Heat gun, which I use for heating the back of PCBs and recycling the components off more power supplies and cables plenty of them um, laptops some working some not for spares i think that's about it for now um the only thing i'm missing is an oscilloscope but i'm working on that Incidentally, which is going to be one of my next videos, and this is a DSO 138 oscilloscope kit. It comes from China. Um, you can get them on banggood.com for quite a reasonable price. I think I paid £15 for this. And it's the whole kit, including the LCD screen. And you put it together, and you've got yourself a little oscilloscope so I'll be doing a full view video of me putting that together assembling it and then testing it looking forward to that one another review I'm going to do something I've recently bought was a high-resolution digital microscope and 
this one's not bad specs it's 300 times zoom and it's 2 to 5 megapixel um, I have had a quick little play with it and it's extremely good so I'll be doing a full review on that uh, it will come in handy for when you're doing small work and quite often when you can't find the fault and it can be a cracked solder joint somewhere very good for looking at that and, and helping you find the problem well that's it for now I uh, hope you enjoyed my little video of my little lab which I hope to extend one day soon and if you like the video subscribe look forward to more videos coming Thank you very much.